Good evening. Service to our country never stops for military men and women. Their desire to continue helping one another lives on in many forever. But local VFWs, American Legion posts and other organizations are feeling a fall in membership. In tonight's top story, News 10's Jacqueline Beavis went to one of the services today to see what's causing the decline and how to stop it. Um, I was 735th tank battalion. I was under General Patton. I served in Germany. I went in as a replacement to be in combat after the Battle of the Bulge to replace a fallen comrade. Service people donning all different caps, represented each by a wreath, and memorializing heroes with the salute reserved for their sacrifice. The brave men and women who fought continue their service back here at home. I joined the first joined in 1946. I belong to VFW since 1945. We're both on the funeral detail. We, we do all the military honors. These two World War II vets carry on the tradition of joining a group back here at home after their years abroad. We're going to need someone to do what we're doing for veterans now. That's becoming more of a concern with falling numbers at local organizations. We're way down. We have lost so many members. Uh, our life members and our older people. We try to get it you know, over to these other people, these younger people, you know. Uh, but I don't think we're getting through to them. I never thought of it because in my mind it was more retired people. The Chapmans thought little about the option before now. We still have our group. We have our units that we kind of use our camaraderie with. Uh, I can see once you leave that, you, you have nothing, so it's something to turn to. And they recognize how important these men and women are for services like this. They're the ones that really drive um, keeping the remembrance of uh, who, is, who has fought for our freedom. We were able to talk to some of the veterans and talk about their VFWs and get more information, and um, I think we'll look into that now. And for the men and women who continue to serve, they'll welcome a fresh generation of others who know the pains of war firsthand. The things that we've done in the past, you don't ever want to forget them. <laughs> but don't let it bear on your mind too much. In Terre Haute, with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Jacqueline Beavis, News 10.